you guys, I have been keeping track of the indie sewing patterns that are released each month. And here's all the ones that I was able to find for July. And in no particular order, let's start with Madswick Studios. They came out with the Rosamund blouse. It is oversized, features an optional sailor collar, which sailor is like a big, big, big trend this summer and I think will bleed into fall as well. Um, the collar can be lined or unlined. It's a button up, has button loops instead of lip button holes. So if your sewing machine doesn't make great button holes, this is a good option for you. It does have an optional modesty panel, which I think puts like a facing behind the openings um, that the buttonholes create, I think. Um, we have loose cuffs, gathered sleeves, and a perfect blend of comfort and style. Tucked, untucked, uh, year-round wear, great. The pattern has, as with all indie patterns, step-by-step -step instructions, printable downloads. This one comes in AO files as well as projector files. Um, the sizes go from a 32-inch bust up to a 60-inch bust and a fabric recommendation guide. So the sewing level is a beginner sewing pattern, has some details that will encourage you to learn new skills, um, but is still, oh, but it's considered an adventurous beginner sewing pattern. So not a true beginner, but an adventurous beginner. And I agree with that with the collar and the cuffs and stuff. Yeah, adventurous beginner for sure. Okay, so here's all of that. Sizing, yardage, two to four meters of woven fabric. I think they're in... Australia, that's not a hundred percent sure on that. Um, okay, here's the fabric recommendations. Lightweight wovens um, with some drape will look the best. Like linen, viscose, tinsel, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton poplin, silk, cotton twill, etc. Yeah, anything that you would use to make what is considered a blouse. If you picture like blouses in the store, um, those kinds of fabrics. So then the notions, all you really need are the buttons and a loop turner. This bobby pin is an interesting thing to list here. I wonder what that will be used for. But let's take a look at some of these photos. So you can see here, this is the sailor. It's also giving pilgrim. So fine line there, depending on your fabric. But it has a little tie at the top, which is really sweet. Yep, here's more of the of the collar. And you can see, I think this one's probably lined. If your fabric's really lightweight, you're probably going to want to, oh, I don't know. I was going to say you probably want to line it, but now I'm thinking that'd be kind of fussy to work with. So if it's more structured, maybe you would want to leave it unlined and drapier ones. Now I'm saying drapier ones you wouldn't want lined. Maybe, now I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe I don't, TPD on that. I don't know which one would be better. Some A part of me thinks that leaving the drapier fabrics unlined would be easier to sew. But then using the lining on the more structured fabrics might make them too thick. So I might choose unlined all the way. I guess it depends on what kind of mood I'm in. But there was the top without a collar. Still cute in its own right. I do like how it kind of pulls to the front a little. You can see the balance of the back to front here. That's really nice. It is a little long for me, but that's just personal preference. There's the neckline again without the collar still really kind of cute, right? Here are our line drawings with all of the little things pointed out. And here's your sizing, has finished garment measurements and body measurements. Um, the, it looks like it's drafted for a B cup, I think. Um, it doesn't say, but Where's the bust in inches? Bust in inches is this. So we have 10, mm, nope, we have eight inches in of ease in the bust. That makes perfect sense. And then they'll give you the finished length. Sleeve L is the length of the sleeve from the top of the shoulder seam down to the bottom of the cuff. Oh, this is the length of the top. Okay, then this is sleeve length, bicep, and wrist. So all the information you'll need to know about sizing. But yeah, pretty oversized, just like it says. Here's the fabric recommendation chart. Um, in yards, it goes up to about three, three and a half, three and a quarter yards if you use 60 inch wide fabric. So kind of a yard hog, a fabric hog. If you didn't use the collar, then it comes down to three inches. 
Yep, and here is some tester makes. I don't know, I'm digging the collar. I really, really like it. Look how she's styled it. Right, super cute. Here's some non-collared options in two very different sizes. I'd love to see that. And here's some more with the collars in print. More collars. This one's probably way too big for her, right? Like um, the sleeves for sure are way too big. And I have a feeling that this is bigger on her than it's intended. She probably made it though, in fairness, off of her bust measurement. But um, as we all know, that doesn't always work out. So just be careful if you have a larger bust to look at the, the sleeve length and the shoulder length um, to make sure that it's still going to look good on you. She it looks like she used that little scalloped edge on your sewing machine that I literally never use. Why is that so cute? I love that little detail on a collar. Or if you could find a, um, a border print, that would be a really good use for the collar too. Look, she did some kind of detail on hers too. I like how these are organized. Here's a non-collared version. Yeah, you can see on the bigger sizes... Because they're basing it off of their bust measurement, it's way too long on their shoulders. So this should be up here. That looks like two and a half or three inches. So just be careful on the shoulder length. That's probably also what's adding to the to the sleeve length itself um, is that this is so long. But this is probably really long too. Yep, whereas on the what would be called like the standard sizes or misses sizes, all of that looks fine. Okay, plenty of pictures that we've seen. Yes, yes. Okay, that is one thing that will be no shortage of in indie patterns. So that's the Rosamund blouse. Next, we have the Just Patterns Inez dress. 90s inspired panel dress, wide front and back necklines and narrow straps. This is just going to look stunning on every single body type. Fitted boss, uh, bodice, cinches at the bust and waist before gracefully flaring into a flowy midi length. Fully lined, invisible zipper, hook, and eye. Transform your summer wardrobe. But honestly, like, you could make this out of anything and wear it through the winter for, like, a holiday dress. Obviously, in the spring as well. You could wear it in fall with boots and maybe some kind of turtleneck underneath. This will go with you forever. Um, samples are sewn in linen, lightweight denim, thin cotton lining. She recommends mid-weight woven fabric with some body, such as mid-weight linen, cotton, cotton poplin, linen, cotton blends, and linen viscose blends. I think she's recommending so much cotton and linen, either A, because she's very eco-conscious and those are the most eco-friendly of the fabrics, or because she's released this in summer and she wants people to be thinking about summer fabrics. But, I mean, obviously you could all, like I mentioned already, you can make this out of a gajillion different fabrics so long as they're mid-weight and woven. All right. Um, and then no alt. Okay. So then she talks about the different versions and the alterations that were made. I'd love to see this. So you can identify your body type and then see what alterations were made to get that fit on that particular model. Sizing. So she drafts for a 5'5", five five, size 34 to 60. When applicable, the size range is divided. And the smaller sizes are for BC cup and the larger sizes are for double D cup. Okay. Great. Oh, if your body measurements are at least one size outside of the range that you pick, she'll grade up one or down at no cost. The range that you pick or the entire range. Oh. Well, babe, if you're doing that, just grade up for, just keep grading. Keep grading up. This is her sizing page. Let's just take a quick look at that. Do we have numbers? Yeah. So body measurements in inches go up from, gosh, 31 and a half up to 57 and a half in the bust and 33 and 7 eighths up to 59 and 1 eighths in the hip. So that's pretty inclusive if I do say so myself. Um, do we have any more information on this? No. Okay. Let's look at the pictures then. Stunning, flattering, like I said, will look good on everyone because you have so many seams. So one, two, three, four, and just in the front, plus your side seams. And I imagine the back um, repeats that. It looks like they have a really big hem, probably a hem, uh, hem facing. 
you can see like a little bit of seam allowance here and then I think the facing ends up here so that's a really nice touch it makes it much easier to sew big circle hems like that here's someone in a larger size maybe mid-size again all of these make it so easy to pinch out and let pinch in and let out um, for however your body's curves move stunning then we have a yellow one also stunning mostly in um solid colors here's denim with the top stitching oh my gosh yes absolute perfection this one seems to be a little bit longer than the others and is this back to the top no here's the back so again we have side seams and then we have one two three four five across the back but you probably wouldn't want to adjust the back zipper too much so you'd want to leave your seam allowance for that but yeah really really beautiful and I think it's fully lined no facing or maybe the bottom mm, it didn't say let's see if we get any more photos no I think oh maybe I keep thinking we're going back to the beginning and then we don't all right let's see 90s inspired it does fully lined okay so fully lined dress so I'm interested that is interesting to me because now I meant oh my god I can't talk that was interesting to me because remember how I said you could see where the hem band was sewn in like I don't think you should be able to see that if it's fully lined right unless that's just my mind playing tricks on me and maybe it happened when it was pressing it left like a little mark I don't know but you guys can definitely see that line right there right so the lining should be sewn to that. And maybe when they were pressing it, that's what created that line. Yeah, I don't know. But all the fit on everybody looks incredible, right? It looked just so good. I had 10 out of 10, no notes on that one in terms of fitting. So beautiful. Here is the new dress from Tint of Mint Patterns. This is the Avena V-neck and open back maxi dress. I need to sew more Tint of Mint patterns. Every time I see them, I'm like, this is so my aesthetic. This is what I want to be wearing all the time. And I keep wasting my time with all this other stuff. <laughs> um, this one is no exception. This is your the V neck. Um, this is sewing tutorial, da da da. Beginner friendly V neckline with an elasticized back or elasticated back, long bell sleeves with gathers and a side split. Perfect for the summer or special occasion. You'll find more details about the pattern. Okay, so booklet, A4, ladder, and AO sizes. Free scrunchie pattern. That's fun. Um, beginner, seam allowances are included. Designed for a height of 5'6". Five, I'm 5'5 five, five and a half. So that's good for me. And for the rest of you, you know how much you need to lengthen. Open back, front darts, neck, bow, tie, strap, and invisible zip at the back. Okay, you'll need three and a quarter yards. Um, also some interfacing. You will use light to midweight fabric such as satin, silk, crepe, cotton, polyester, Georgette to make this dress. And just remember the more structured your fabric is, the more that like these bell sleeves will stand away. All of this will stand away from your body. It'll just obviously be less draped to your body. But I mean, get don't get me. I mean, I still can't talk. What am I trying to say? Don't get me wrong. This, that's not right. All I'm trying to say is correct me if I'm wrong. But this dress would make a beautiful like wedding, part of your wedding. I don't know if it's your actual wedding dress or like the rehearsal dinner, but like spring summer fall whether you're doing it in your backyard or in italy or i don't know i'm just seeing wedding maybe probably because it was made in this beautiful ivory silk but here's the open back that's how it ties gorgeous gorgeous the only only thing that i think would make this better is if this skirt was cut on the bias which you can do yourself you'll probably just need more than three yards of fabric so consider that, please, when you're making this, because that is the only thing that would make this dress, like, you know, through the roof, out of the stars. My, all my sayings are, like, so backwards today. I don't know what is wrong with my, with my brain. But 
That is the Tint of Mint Athena dress. $11. So cute. Okay. This is the Closet Core Crew. Okay. So Closet Core Crew is their new subscription service. You pay, I can't remember what it was, $10, $15 a month. And you get one new pattern every month that's exclusive to crew members only. This is their one for July. It's the Terrazzo dress. Um, romantic, dramatic, easy to fit, easy to customize, easy to wear. High cut architectural neckline that descends into a narrow V finished with a facing. The overall fit and gathering ratio is controlled at the waist with two rows of channeling and adjustable ties that secure at the side seam. Since the ties were a divine waist or loosen them for a billowy fit. Voluminous sleeves are gathered and secured with a band finish and in just below the elbow and the midi length skirt features an extra deep hem that, that adds structure and movement. Simply a stunner and yes, there are pro there are pockets. In seam pockets, that is. Supplies, you're going to need crisp and stable wovens like cotton poplin, voile, broadcloth, lightweight linen, and shirtings. Here's all your yardages for... What? Um, okay, that's okay. That's annoying. I don't like see how this is not moving with the photos. That's not helpful. It should keep scrolling. Anyways, sizing. So zero to 20 and 14 to 32. Both size, size ranges are included. Closet core itself is known for being size inclusive. I can't imagine they'd make their crew patterns any differently. And then here is the download info. All right, so let's, oh, they put it over a terrazzo background. I get it. That's cute. Okay, so here are some of their, I don't know if these are tester makes necessarily, but these are the, the model photos. They have this on their Instagram as well. But um, this is the high neck they're talking about that descends into a little V. And these are little scrunchy, scrunchy bands that you can pull up to make it smaller or looser. Other than that, it's a pretty standard looking dress, right? I want to see... There are the side seam pockets. Are there any more panels to this skirt or is it just the one? In the back, it's just the one. That's a pretty straight looking, maybe, maybe A-line back dress. And the front is something close to the same. So all the work is being done um, in terms of fitting and figures and flattery and all of that with these bands. I say that because I'm like, can't we just hack another pattern? There's there's a there's beauty in simple sewing patterns for beginners. But those of us that have been sewing for a minute can recognize maybe when we can just hack a pattern to include this. So not to dissuade anyone from buying it, by all means, if you want to take all that work out, please buy it up. But I think some of us are also looking at this and going, do I really need a membership for a dress that I can just hack out of something else? Um... This isn't that revolutionary to me in terms of like figuring it out on my own. I'm pretty sure I could. The kind of unique thing I think is that there's not a, oh, there is, there's a sleeve right there. Does it, is it a traditional sleeve? I'll have to look at the line drawings because this goes up into a bad toe neckline and then you have your shoulder seam here. It's not like a rounded neckline. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to go back to explain that better. This is not round. So it makes me think that it has a dolman sleeve. There's definitely a side seam though. There it is in white, gorgeous in white. That's kind of like a looser fit. Hello, Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's a perfect dress for Thanksgiving. Okay, I can't zoom in any, but there is a sleeve here. It's just not set in in the traditional way. It's almost more like a raglan, but not. So in a way, I guess that's kind of cool and interesting. That's different to me. That's not something that I would inherently know just how to hack a pattern to do. I think I could probably figure it out, but it's not like just, oh yeah, just boom, 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 boom. And then I've got that. So, okay. A little give and take there. Well, they make it look more like a standard sleeve here, but there is... This isn't as round as it seems in the photos, in the illustration. The photos aren't as smooth as this. I don't know if that was like, I don't know. I don't know. Now I'm confused. But either way, I still think it's a really cute dress pattern. I do think you can get this out of some other kind of shift dress and add whatever kind of sleeves you want. 
or just take all the work out of it, join the crew. You'll get new patterns every month anyways. So that might be best. Okay, LB Textiles came out with the Wolf Top. Um, it is available in, it's a knit top, available in B and C D cups, sizes A to N, which if you don't know, some indie pattern companies use letters for their sizes instead of numbers so that you don't go into the project thinking that you're going to be the size that you are and ready to wear and get hung up on what the number is when really the numbers mean nothing. Um, so they do it in letters instead. I kind of, I like that. I really appreciate that. Um, okay. View A features crossover front panels cropped at the waist while view B is classic fitted top that finishes at the hip. 40% stretch fabrics, um, four way stretch is recommended, lends itself to medium slash heavyweight knits. Anything too flimsy won't hold its structure. So the midweight jersey from Stylemaker Fabrics would be perfect. I've raved about this a million times, um, but that one only comes in solids. So if you wanted to print, you'd have to find something else. Um, okay. Thread, see chart and images drafted for five, seven. So that's a little too long for me, especially because I'm short waisted and this is a top. Um, the rest of it, I think we covered designed to be fitted around the chest, but there's more ease factored into the waist. If you prefer a tighter fit around the waist, you may blend down to a smaller size in that region. Um, the structure and stretch of your knit fabric will play a big part in how it fits making a, she recommends making a twill, of course. I like that they put all of that information on there. That's something that the big five companies don't tell you. I try and tell you those things whenever we are doing the um, first impressions video. But unless you know a lot about fabrics and fit and stuff, you're not going to just know that. I also can't zoom in. I really hate that. So now I have to zoom down. I have to scroll down and back up every time. So this is one of those crossover ones. It is really cute. I think you could also easily transfer this to a like athleisure type of outfit. Um, if you go to yoga and you work with yoga pants, if you want to go for a hot girl walk and you want to wear it, you know, with leggings, um, 